Kristen Bell once tried mushrooms and revealing it to her kids backfired on her Kristen Bell shares two daughters with husband Dax Shepard. Kristen Bell admitted she told her children with husband Dax Shepard that she tried mushrooms. The act of honesty later backfired as the actress explained to Jimmy Kimmel during her appearance on his show Tuesday night. It backfired a couple of weeks ago because my mom came in town, who is more conservative than I am, and we have been really, really honest with our kids. Bell revealed that she had tried mushrooms on her 40th birthday years ago and that she spoke about the experience to her children. Then I overheard my daughter talking to my mom, to grandma, going, I'm actually really glad they share all this stuff with me. So anyway, my mom really wanted to try mushrooms, so? I just walked by and was like, oh, 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 oh Bell recalled. For some reason I'm more worried about telling my mom that than telling my daughter. Bell noted that Shepard, who is in recovery, is honest with their kids. Their dad is in recovery, so he's really honest about what alcohol does to your body. How it makes you feel funny and impairs things, she shared. What drugs do to your body and why most drugs are illegal and all that. Shepard has been outspoken about his battle with addiction. He first got sober in 2004, and admitted he relapsed in 2020. Shepard believed he and Bell were opposites at the time they met. All the things I'd done were terrifying to her, and she had a hard time believing I would ever be able to stay married and monogamous and a father and all those things. For the first year and a half we were together, that was what we battled over almost weekly, he told Playboy in 2012. I just love to get F. Ed up. Drinking, cocaine, opiates, marijuana, diet pills, pain pills, everything. Mostly my love was Jack Daniels and cocaine. I lived for going down the rabbit hole of meeting weird people. I got lucky in that I didn't go to jail. Following his relapse in 2020, he thanked Bell and his podcast co-host Monica Padman for their unconditional love. I can't imagine having to admit that to other people and feeling as safe as I did that you guys wouldn't hate me. I hated me at that point and so, to be able to tell you guys and feel unconditionally loved and that I would be accepted was really special, he said in 2020. It saved my life.